All right, so we are doing another county tour for today. Um, we haven't done a county tour for a solid year. This is the first county tour we've done in quite a bit of time. And we're gonna be doing it on McLeod County. And uh, yeah. Um, McLeod County's fairly close by. I've already done Carver County and Sidley County. Uh, Scott County would be, be an easy one, uh, but I think McLeod's a pretty easy one to do. The cities are pretty defined, they're not too big, so I'm not gonna have to be doing too much circling around. And each of the cities are on uh, major highways, almost all of them, pretty much all of them. Actually, all of them are on major highways, either U.S. highways or state highways. So it should be pretty easy to pass along. Uh, so yeah, I just said, you know what, I want to do this again. Uh, I've been doing a lot of door dashing and grub hubbing and targeting, so might as well just do the county tour while I'm at it. So right now we're in Norwood, which is Carver County. Um, we're going to be getting to McLeod County pretty shortly. Uh, yeah, the, the three major highways that kind of define the county are 212, um, and then also actually four, four major highways. We got 212, we got Highway 7, which is towards the north end of it, and we got uh, Highway 15, which goes north south. Um, that's kind of between uh, Hutchinson and uh, Brownton, and then they got a diagonal road, um, Highway 22. That kind of connects Glencoe and Hutchinson, and they get a tiny city there to escape. So, we haven't really started the tour too much yet, so our first city is going to be in three miles, which is about two and a half minutes away. Um, I don't think we've crossed the county line yet. We just passed. Highway 5 and 25, that goes to Sibley County, that goes by Green Isle and Arlington Gaylord, which we've already done a tour there. Those are Sibley County cities. And, uh, yes. So, have we crossed the county line yet? Nope. We have not. So we gotta get there. Coming up shortly, and then pretty much right when we cross the county line will be a plate of This is Highway 212 that we're on right now. Um, this is probably the most major road in the county, probably Highway 212 and Highway 7 are kind of the two major roads. Highway 212 is nice, we just crossed McLeod County. Highway 212 is nice, it's four lanes, the speed limit's 65, so you can go pretty fast on there. And uh, idiots that drive well under the speed limit don't completely destroy your commute. You don't have to do any dangerous passings on the other side. And they're making it four lanes all the way to Chaska. They're doing construction between between Cologne and Chaska and Norwood. All that's going to be four lanes. And they're doing construction projects on that right now. Anyways, we're getting to Plato right now. Um, this is Plato right here. It's very small, so this will be a quick loop around of Plato right here. They got a gas station right here. I remember the last time I did a county tour, it was like 180 for gas. Now it's at 279. Gas prices have been ridiculous. But with the upside that I use, it's not too bad. Um, anyways. So they got that Cenex gas station right there. It's got a liquor store in there. See, it says, Welcome to Plato. It's got a few churches and stuff. We got the 
looks like a lawn mowing, lawn mowing company sort of store. Uh, got railroad tracks right here. A few houses. Took a look at one of these houses one time. They had a pretty decent house for a low price. Using like 100 Ks. Pretty not too expensive housing. Should be a nice place to start a house in. And uh, yeah, this is downtown right here. Uh, they got some bars. And they also got a mill, a grain, grain mill sort of deal right there for trains to pass up on. Uh, yeah, a bit more of the downtown. You see one, one of the houses that I've seen for sale on Zillow over there. Sort of duplex house. They got the water tower up there. Let this guy go ahead. Take a ride, see more of the city. We don't want to get too far because then it's just going to go to a lot of farmland stuff. This will take you towards uh, Lester Prairie, which we'll be going to later. That was a baseball field that we were by. Um, Right here's a nice little park with some basketball courts. And uh, yeah. They got a church over here. And we'll just keep going straight. And we'll get back on the 212 after this. So um, yeah, that's a sweet garage right there. If I buy a house with enough property, I'd probably get the same exact thing. They got a skateboard park right there. Then we'll go on the Fifth Avenue right here. That goes to a farmhouse over there. And then we will take a right over here. Some more houses, here's the church. And then we're just gonna go straight up to the stop sign and take another left. And then we'll be back on 212. So this deal right here, this is the uh, community park, so that must be the rec center big building. That's a duplex to the left that I've seen on Zillow. And uh, yes, here it is, Plato. Got the railroad tracks again, this time they got the arms sort of deal that Makes crossing a bit less risky. You don't have to stop and look both ways. And then you got Crown Industry hydraulic doors. So they they make hydraulic doors over there. And they got that nice little tiny bank, little drive-through bank. Ah, that's pretty interesting. And then we're back on 212. And they got the cemetery right on 212 too on the other side. I think I've already captured that. Yep, they have. All right, now we're back on 212. And now we're gonna be going towards Glencoe. So Glencoe's another five miles away from here. The sun's not going to be too bad on the camera. 
so over here they got a bunch of farmland, farmland, uh, you can buy some land around here too, uh, and uh, yeah, they got this creek right here, that, that's a creek, I don't think it's a Pearl River goes more towards Hutchinson, not just a creek right there. Uh, these are some trees for sale to the right, some trees, a tree farm. Got some farmland right there, they got the, the water deals going. signs right here. So we got McLeod County 1. And this north goes towards Lester Prairie as well. So there's two roads that go towards Lester Prairie from northwest. It's the road that was in uh, Plato in County Road 1, which is right here. And south takes you towards Arlington, which we've done that in Sidley County. So you can see Glen Cove from a distance see the water tower and stuff we're approaching Glen Cove pretty soon. I'll get a nice little tour of Glen Cove. It's a bit larger than Plato. It's a bit larger of a city. I think it's got like 5,000 or whatever. And Glen Cove's a big farming city. Uh, it was featured in a documentary back in 2019, 80 something or whatever, back in the 80s. It was called God's America, and they featured, uh, I think it was called God's America, something like that. And it featured uh, Glencoe as the city. It's precisely an hour away from downtown Minneapolis. Uh, so, yeah. If you want to, if you want to work in the cities, I. I would suggest living here, but Hutchinson and it's got a lot of businesses and stuff. So here's Glencoe right here. Uh, Glencoe's got a bunch of stuff. They got a dollar store here. Uh, got plate supply. Um, they also got Corborns. I know that. Uh, this quick trip just opened up recently here. Uh, it's a pretty new quick trip. They also got Burger King in Subway. So they got the stop sign right here. They don't got any stoplights. I think the only city in the county that's got stoplights is Hutchinson, and Hutchinson's got a lot. They got Bumps Family Restaurant. That, that place is always busy when I drive by it. It's a pretty nice restaurant. There's Corborns right here. That's a grocery store in town. Uh, they're going on, take a left here in 11th Street. They got a dealership right here. Corborns even's got its own gas station. Look at that, 270. Not too bad, not like Shakopee levels though. Shakopee Metawakatons get cheap gas. Um, we got Union Avenue right here. We'll take it right here and take a look at more of the, the city. We'll drive by the high school. They got a high school here. Which is Lenco Silver Lake High School. Looks like this railroad thing is broken, so I just gotta make sure that there's no trains crossing, or else that'd be a bad deal if that were to happen. 
So yeah, a bunch of houses here, of houses here. Um, got a park to the right. And we got this road right here. This is County Road 2 it ends up becoming. And that goes towards uh, Silver Lake, which we'll be going towards soon. Later in the tour. So they got... You can see the high school right here. They actually combined all of the schools into one. You can see their football field and they got their discus and discus ring I can see. Glencoe Silver Lake High. And then they also got the junior high school here too and they also got the elementary school right here as well so all in one building that's pretty neat pretty much their whole oopsie whoopsies somebody somebody did not uh Somebody must have ran a stop sign or was speeding around here. This place has some cops, so you don't want to get caught speeding around here. Any county seat city's got cops, so no matter what city you're in, you get cops. For county seats, at least. So watch out for that. Watch your speed. Don't, don't drive too fast. We'll go on the truck route. I'm not too familiar with the roads inside of it. I know the major highway, so let's keep going. We're getting more into the main part of town right here. This is more like the downtown area sort of deal. Right here, they get some houses right here, some trailers. A lot of these intersections are blocked off at the railroad tracks because, yeah. So you gotta go more into a main sort of street to cross the railroad tracks, which is kind of smart because uh, you don't want people to just breeze by it and get smashed. So they got a church right here, and they also got this mill right here. Now we're getting into the main park, sort of downtown. Right here they got another Casey's 270 for gas. Most of the gas stations that I'm around are 279. But once you get more out there it becomes cheaper towards the 270s or when you're in Shakopee, it's 264. So, um, yes, this is downtown Glencoe. And, uh, got some neat stuff there. They got the bank right here. This is where the courts are, the government center to the left. It's probably where the cop shop is, too, so. Definitely don't uh, go crazy with the speed around here. That would be pretty bad. We're on McLeod County 2 right now, and we're taking a bridge over 212 right here. So, yep, that's downtown Glencoe sort of deal. And we're crossing this bridge right here that goes over 212. Getting to South Glencoe, South 212. Glencoe right here so we just crossed over a river sort of creek and then we're gonna try to get back on the 212 so right here just a bunch of houses 
not really see much of use of touring these houses right here. So, um, yes, we're going to just take a little U-turn sort of deal around here. Some apartments right here. And, uh, yes, let's get back on the 212. Oh, there's a baseball field. Let's go check that out. See, that's why I did. I didn't do it just because I was lost. I wanted to see the baseball field. <laughs> no joke. Ah, I'm joking. So, here's the baseball field right here. It kind of gives a nice scenery of what Glencoe is about. You can see the farms, farmland towards that way. So, you get a nice little kind of view of what Glencoe is about. It's very, uh, very uh, agricultural. There's a lot of farms. It's a farming community. Perfect way to represent the city. And there's a walking bridge that takes you over 212. Obviously don't want to cross 212 on the street because uh, cars go pretty fast on there so we'll drive by Dairy Queen and then get ourselves back on the 212 and head towards Brownton because that's the next city on, on 212 it's Brownton then Stewart and then we'll take Stewart towards Hutch and then Hutch to Biscay, Silver Lake, Lester Prairie then Winstead Ending in Winstead. So we're crossing over the bridge again. There's downtown again. Yeah, I don't think I'll have to do this in the dark, thankfully. I just decided to do it just right off the bat. I was like, Yep, I'm going to do this. Uh, grub dashing ain't going to be good because uh, the restaurants are not going to be fun to wait in on Mother's Day. And uh, we already got done with our Mother's Day sort of festivities, family gatherings. And then, uh, yeah, I heard that tips aren't very good and uh, the restaurants are just trash. Restaurants are garbage. So here's DQ right there, that's the other fast food restaurant that's here, DQ. They also got another gas station, it's 270 once again. And Highway 22, they'll take us back on to Highway 212. Highway 22 is weird in Glencoe, it goes, takes like a little U-turn sort of deal even though that when you want to go to Hutch, you just go straight on this road, cut through Highway 22's U-turn, U-shaped sort of idiotic deal. So that's DQ, that's good, good year, that's a tire deal, right in that barn garage sort of deal with a bunch of tires for tractors and everything. This, the government center right here, that's probably where the cops are parked. What's the gas at this station? Oh, diesel's 291? 270. So every single gas station is 270 in Glencoe. That's Glencoe's gas prices. They got a nice little traffic approaching sign. Um, this intersection's garbage to get through crossing these four lane roads when, when there's uncontrolled uh, sort of deals is bad for 
stop sign. So we're back on 212. And the speed limit just went up to 65. Here we go. Here we go. 70. And uh, yes. Here is Glencoe. Right here. Got the tractor farm right there. And then we're going to be going to, to uh, Brownton. So I've never actually been through downtown Brownton before. Um, there's actually a like little weird tiny town called Sumter, which doesn't have a post office. So, uh, yes. And this is also in conjunction with uh, Highway 22. Highway 22 is a weird road. Highway 22 has got a weird shape to it. It kind of goes south, and then it goes like diagonal, and then it goes towards New Ulm, and it goes diagonal, and then it connects with 7, and then it goes to Litchfield, and then I think it goes back up to St. Cloud, and I don't know too much after Litchfield. I think after that she only goes to the next the same point. I'm not sure. But this is towards when 212 stops becoming four lanes. So right now it's only four lanes between Glencoe and Norwood and then it goes to two lanes and then it becomes four lanes through Cologne and then after Cologne it becomes two lanes again and then after Chaska it's four lanes all the way till when it hits Highway 62 and you die enough. And it becomes a freeway once when it hits Chaska. But it, the construction plan they're doing is making it four lanes all the way to Chaska. So it's going to go four lanes from here all the way to Chaska. But now it's becoming two lanes right here. So hopefully people aren't driving too slow. Hopefully I don't have to pass anybody. Um, I don't want to be behind semi trucks. They go way too slow. Um, yes. Hopefully this minivan isn't driving extremely slow, which is how many. Which driving on the roads all the time. And these are the type of vehicles that drive super slow. Usually are the minivans. But no, it seems to go at sort of the same speed as me quite nice. So hopefully I'm not going to uh, yeah, I might be approaching it. I don't think it's going that slow. But yes, um, here's more of Blencoe right here. Um, I don't know what township this is. Um, this is township sort of stuff. And yeah, I see a guy planting some seeds or something. Uh, yeah, very nice wide open area right here. A lot more peaceful than the cities. I like it out here more. It's a lot more peaceful. A lot less traffic garbage. A lot less idiotic drivers that try to cut in front of you or that don't know how to yield at left turns. A lot less conjunction or somebody that's going 20 miles under the speed limit. All that sort of stuff that I see. Um, is this Sumter right here? Yes, this is Sumter. Um, yeah. It looks like they just got a few houses here, and that's about it. It's uh, it's north of this railroad track. They got a few houses, and that's about it. 
That's something right there. Yeah, see that semi truck? See all that truck? See all that traffic behind it? Jeez, please. That's why they're making 212 in the four lanes because because with uh, Norwood becoming more popular it's more people are moving towards there and a lot of people are moving towards Cologne between Norwood and Chaska when it becomes two lanes it's just such a mess one driver drives super duper slow and it just messes the whole thing up and it, become, and it becomes uh, extremely dangerous you're gonna have to make the move up Hey, do I want to pass this guy? You gotta look over to the other side, make sure there's no traffic. Hopefully I don't have to do that at all in this tour. So we're gonna be heading to Brownton. Did I miss my turn to Brownton? I think I did. Oh, jeez, it means. I don't think that's a street to head towards Brownton. They, they'll probably have a sign. I haven't been to downtown Brownton at all. I've done a lot of loop-de-loop -loop drivings for fun and driven on 212 and stuff. And 7. Um, just to calm myself and relax, but I've never actually been through downtown Brownton before. I've never actually, because 212 kind of bypasses it. I think they created a bypass uh, because uh, why not bypasses are nice. There's a lake right here. And then, uh, yeah. Bypasses is what grows the community because, uh, because then it makes commuting a lot easier because you're not going to have to go through the city and go through all those stoplights or stop signs. That's what they did with Shakopee and look what happened to Shakopee. It got massive because of the 169 bypass. They don't have to drive through that Bloomington Ferry garbage road anymore. Um, yes, so we're crossing another creek right here on the bridge and then we're going to be going towards Brownton. Yes. The cloud 13. I don't know where that goes towards. I know they got the unincorporated community of Fernando, but we've all, we already did that back in Sibley County. We kind of passed through that. So we'll just consider Fernando, just hypothetically speaking, and that, that's more in Sibley County. We'll just say that. So here's Brownton. I've never actually been in downtown Brownton, so I'm just as a, uh, what you may call it. I, I, I've i never been here. This is my first driving through town, so. Brownton's a pretty small city. Uh, I, don't know, I think it's got like a thousand or something. It's a city south of Hutchinson, so we're going 15, now we'll go towards Hutchinson. State Highway 15 is what goes towards Hutchinson. So it looks like they get Cemetery. And then they also got... Uh, some houses. And then they also got... Cars, some houses. Is that a church or a school? Let's see. And then left is some more houses. Noah's Ark Preschool, so that's like a Catholic preschool. Or yeah, Lutheran Preschool, that's what it is. Lutheran Church with a preschool in it. And this is an old church building. Uh, 
Yeah, it's, uh, this is Brownton right here. It said 295, then 85, then 8 right. It's a gas station, I don't even know what that is. Brownton Police, so Brownton's got their own police station too. It looks like this is a one way right here, so. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it looks like that's a bank over there or something. City meat market, so they got a meat market here. Uh, let's see. They got a green elevator right there. And then they also got this, a bank, it looks like it used to be a mechanic shop right there, that building. And I think that might be it. I've looked around and uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a bunch of houses and a few business buildings sort of deals. And this is probably what 212 used to be. This probably used to be 212 a while ago, but it bypassed through there. I think that might be an apartment or a motel or something right there. up to 60 right here. So this is uh, two bodies of water right here, two lakes that are side by side. And this goes in conjunctions with Highway 15 right here. So we got Highway 15. North is going to take you to Hutchinson. South will take you towards uh, Fairbanks. No, Winthrop. Fairfax is, is uh, Highway 4. Winthrop is Highway 15. What am I thinking? So yeah, this is the four-way stop. Uh, and we're going to be going right on to 212. We'll visit one more 212 city in McLeod County. And then we'll go towards... Uh, We'll be going more towards, uh, what's that place? Hutchinson after Stewart. So Stewart is in six miles? Yeah, that's a six miles. Uh-oh, we got a semi-truck. So, um, yes. Looks like there's a train that's coming through. Thank goodness that, uh, hopefully I don't have to see. Oh, that's a long train. Holy crap. No, that's not that long of a train. I hate when there's train, when I have to cross a train track with the train on it, it completely messes with your time, especially when I'm delivery driving and I want to get to the house fast so I can get the delivery done as quick as possible. When a train comes, then it's just bad, just no good. So, um, yes, we are on Highway 212. The house is abandoned right there. Got some horses, or are those horses? Or are they? Yes, yeah, some horses. And I'll eat some grass on the ground. And uh, yes.
Oh yeah, speaking about this area, a zone's coming in May 25th. Hutchinson and Glencoe are going to have a zone. Um, it, it's going to be called Hutchinson, and it's both Hutchinson and Glencoe that's part of it. Pretty sure Hutchinson would be pretty decent, I don't think. No, I don't think it'll be that good of a zone. Even if I were to live, out in Hutchinson or Glencoe, I'd probably drive the extra 40 minutes to get the chain in Prairie and do that. So I just can't see much volume coming out of Hutchinson or Glencoe. Especially Glencoe. Glencoe would be awful because they only got a few fast food restaurants. Hutchinson could be fine though, but it's not the same volume as Chan or Eden Prairie, so see it being a lot slower. But here is Stewart right here. This is the last city on 212. And we'll be taking this road, right, County Road 7, up to Hutchinson. This road takes it straight to Hutchinson. Uh, 212 kind of bypasses the city, sort of. Uh, it's a pretty small one. Uh, it's 571. I've been eyeing on, on the house here, and I've also been eyeing on an apartment that just came up today that's pretty nice, and, uh, yes, so, Stewart is right on the edge of, of Renville and McLeod County, so, uh, yeah, if I were to keep continuing towards that way, I'd go into Renville County on 212 and that'll take you towards like Bolivia, that, that'd take you towards Buffalo Lake and Hector and then that'll end up taking you towards Olivia and stuff. But yeah, this is Stewart right here. Uh, got some train stuff, there's the water tower to the left. Uh, there's the mill, the green elevator sort of deal. It's a house to the right. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Stewart. There's a park right here with some basketball courts. We'll take it right on the main street. There's the park right here. Here's the church. Uh, what else do we got? Some houses. They got some pretty cheap houses right here. And which is great because it's not that far away from Hutchinson. Can live in a very nice cheap house around here. Pay with full cash and then Take a 15 minute drive to Hutchinson. Sort of a bedroom community for Hutchinson. But yeah, this is uh, Stewart right here. Food for kids, nice deal. Pretty sure that's also a school there too. And uh, yes, they got a cemetery to the right too. And this is County Road 7. We'll take a left onto here, onto here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to pass this person. They look like they're going way too slow for type of row. I, I was going 40 and I was already approaching them fast so 
when I'm going 60, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be pretty, getting up pretty close to them. And I'm probably going to have to do a passing deal on a two-lane road, which I hate doing. Passing on a two-lane road is not fun, but I'd rather do that than be stuck behind somebody that's a slow pump, a pump, a pump, a pump, a slow pump. So this is about 15 minutes away before we actually get to our next destination, so I'm going to be talking about some filler while we're at it. Mostly just a bunch of farmland right here. It kind of does this cool little zigzaggy sort of deal. Eh, it looks like they ain't going too slow. Hopefully, oh, they are going slow. Way too slow. Yep, I'm going to have to pass them. Thankfully, you can go... 10 miles over the speed limit when you're passing without getting a ticket. So if you were to ever get a ticket going 10 miles over the speed limit, which a friend of mine did while passing, uh, and you can fight that ticket in court. And you can see Brownton from a distance from here. So there's Brownton again. We just toured that city not too long ago. Yeah, so if a cop ever pulls you over and gives you a ticket for going 10 over the speed limit while you're passing, you have a right to fight that ticket, and you should win it. And I can show it through dash cam if, I ever, if that were to ever happen to me. Um, because, yeah. And the reason why is because... Oh yeah, I can I can see it coming up. Oh, and there, the zigzagging through. So this will make for some good filler talking about my pass of this vehicle that I'm coming up to. If they keep going at a consistently low speed, they might just keep keep going up and down with the speed, being like, oh, I'm gonna go 70, now I'm gonna go 50. They're just gonna keep going off and on. Now I can I can see that's a station wagon, or I can see that's a GM sort of minivan. Is it a GM? Yeah, it looks like a GM minivan. I can see a bit more of the vehicle, so that confirms that I'm gonna that I'm gonna be coming close to it. Because I can identify that it's a GM minivan. Why is it always these minivans that drive like like extremely slow? So Here's how to pass. This is more of a tutorial now on how to pass a vehicle while you're in a two-lane road sort of deal. So, just want to make sure that it's dotted lines because uh, you don't want to get pulled over for passing in a, in a solid line. Um, you got to make sure that that. Uh, they are driving extremely slow, and as you can see, I'm approaching them, and I'm going 60, and they're not going the speed that I want to be going at. So you don't have to be uh, stuck behind this vehicle. That's what these dotted lines give you. So I'll get a bit closer before I start passing. Looks like they're matching my speed now, which is a speed now, which is annoying. I hate when they do that. If you're gonna drive slow, just drive slow, whether I'm approaching you or not. And it, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to pass them. So I'm gonna pass them after I do this little curve deal. So um, yeah, they are extremely slow for my liking. 
once when it gets to the dotted lines, I'm going to hit the gas. And pass at them going 10 over the speed limit because you are allowed to do that. You got to make sure that there's no cars within the vicinity. So, as you can see, there's a car right here. And, uh... Should I? No, I'm gonna wait. See, I don't like this view right here because I could be passing and, uh, and there could be a car that's gonna come after me. So, I'm just gonna have to uh, get this road back to north south. Right now, we're at east west. Uh, and then I will do my pass. Chevy Venture, so it's one of the GM minivans. Um, and it looks like there's nobody coming, so I'm just gonna do this. It's dotted. You gotta kick in the gear. It's better to go 10 over the speed limit than to go 5 over because uh yes, and then I'm back in my passing lane. So that's how you pass a vehicle that you don't want to be behind, right there. Step by step guide. And when you're and when you're driving on these type of roads, you're gonna have to do that because uh, yeah, people drive slow and uh, you don't want to be, be behind slow folks. This guy was not in his lane. This guy was drifting. And uh, yeah. Wow, this is, this is too funny, too funny. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, now I don't have anything to talk about because, uh, just discussed. This is a pretty windy road, so I think I passed them at the precise time, and now yeah, he's still going pretty slow, so I can see him. The thing I hate is when I pass somebody and they're like, oh my goodness, now I gotta completely ride them. That, that's no good. And they completely ride your butt after you pass them. Oh my goodness, those, those people are stupid. They try to act like it's a racing game, and I've and I've had that happen before, and it's dangerous. If you're gonna drive slow, just keep driving slow. I don't want you to start all of a sudden driving fast just because I passed you. Nope. Nope. You're more patient than me. That's just that. Another county road in McLeod County, 54. They got some farmhouses right on County Road 7. Looks like some sort of community sort of deal right here. I'm not 100% certain. Another house, farm house right here. Oh, I can see Hutchinson. We're coming to Hutchinson right now. I can see the water tower from a short distance. This 
is kind of representative of Hutchinson too. It's sort of a farm community. They got an awesome football team. Their high school's got got a a powerhouse of a football team. They have plenty of unbeaten seasons, and they make it to state like a hundred times. Their football program is huge. Football's a big deal out here in Hutchinson. There were powerhouses in in higher divisions back when there was only a few. Like they were in the highest division. I think it was like 4A or 3A when. When 4A, I think it's 4A. When 4A was the highest division, they were a powerhouse even when it was the highest. But they're still in 4A, and they're a powerhouse in 4A. But it's expanded to six different A's. So now they got 6A, which Eden Prairie's became the powerhouse of 6A. Because um, Eden Prairie's much bigger. Hutchinson's a smaller town. I think it's got like 15,000 population, so it's fairly small. And they're putting a zone out here in Hutchinson. Hutchinson's gonna have their own DoorDash zone. And I think that's pretty neat because Hutchinson's got a decent amount of stuff. They got some restaurants, uh, some pretty main style restaurants. Like, Hardee's, Taco John's, McDonald's, B-Dubs. They got Applebee's out here too. And a bunch of other stuff. Subways. Yeah, pretty decently sized town. I don't think that's a football field over there. It's just, maybe it's an old stadium. What's that way? So here we are, this is Hutchinson. Got some churches right here. New Century Academy. Hutchinson Tigers, that's their mascot for high school. We're going by their high school. There's West Elementary. Yep, there's our high school at the football stadium. A lot of people attend their football games because they're a powerhouse in football. I'm going to take it right here. Take a look at more of the city. You know what? Maybe I should have gone straight. They got a nice view of the lake right here. Look at the high school and then take a left over at Boulder Street. There are just some houses right here. It's a school road right here, so. Take it right here. Then we'll take a left over once we hit seven. 
can see to my left of the lake. Oh, here we go. We got a nice view right here. Here we go. Got the bridge. This is the Crow River right here. The Crow River. It's the South Fork. The North Fork goes towards like towards like uh, I'm trying to think like Kingston or whatever. So we're more towards like Beaker County area. So yeah, that's the Crow River. I think it's like Campbell Lake or something. I forgot the lake is called. Here we go. It was Speedway and Burger King. They got a Ford dealership over here. Tokyo Grill, Japanese restaurant. So they got a lot of stuff out here. This is probably this is the main city. This ain't the county seat, but it's sure the main city. Um, with a lot of, with the most stuff. Yeah, I got Jimmy's Pizza. If you're to live anywhere in this county, I'd say this is probably the place to work. Hutchinson Auto Sales, they got dealership here. They got some used car lots around here. Um, and uh, yes, got yeah, a whole lot of stuff here. Subway, got yeah, Dollar Store. North of here, north of Seven is just a bunch of houses, mostly. Not too many businesses north of Seven, but south of Seven is where the major plaza is on Highway 15. So, uh oh, oh, there's a, that's a bad crash. That's really bad. That looks horrendous. Looks terrible. Hopefully, everybody's okay there. Horrendous. There's Hardee's and they got Taco John's. Um, they got Shopco here. Um, there's a lot of stores in Hutchinson. We're getting towards downtown Hutch. They got Lindsay Whalen outline. That Lindsay Whalen, who's like the best women's basketball player ever, that played for the Lynx and led the Lynx to a dynasty lived in Hutchinson she great that's where she played hoops at. that's where she originated from was Hutch geez that's really bad so they got some bars and restaurants they also got a movie theater Gonna move over for this uh, ambulance uh, looks like a sort of courthouse deal Got a bank here, they got strip mall. That's the city center down there. Oh, that's what they got there too. Um Domino's, they got they, there's just a bunch of stuff here. A lot of stuff. A lot more stuff than any other town in the whole city, in the whole county. Um Probably as much stuff as like Chas up as like Chaska. This is sort of like the same size as maybe a bit smaller than Chaska. It's got more than Waconia, but less than Chaska Chan, I'd say. Um, and right here's just a bunch of houses, and then we continue more towards 15. Here you get to the modern plazas, um, the more recent stuff that they built. 
and I'd say this would probably be if, if they made a DoorDash map, this would be the number one hotspot. That's a horrible looking accident. I hope that everybody's okay there. And nobody's seriously hurt or killed. Because that does not look like a good accident at all. There's the Oakland Cemetery. There's a park right here. Uh, they also got brewery right here. And they also got Funeral Chapel and just naming off a bunch of stuff. Here's the main part. They got Taco Bell here. They also got Dental. They got Walgreens. This is the place to be if you're door dashing with their new door dash zone. That's coming in May 25th. Is that... Is their lobby open at that place? They got McDonald's. That's where Walmart is. They also got B-dubs. Um, they got sports store there. What's that? Sports Clips. They got Durham Sports. Bank. They got McCormick's. So they got a lot of chain stuff here. This is Ridgewater over there. Ridgewater College. Uh, they have Walmart. There's Walmart right here. Applebee's. South Point Financial Credit Union. They got PetSmart and Aldi and Pizza Ranch. See, they got a bunch of stuff here. This is like a mall. Um, yeah, see, County Fair Market Place. So I, I wonder if the County Fair is over here. Quick Trip. Two sixty nine for gas. One cent. You got Glencoe out by one cent. Um, they got Subway, that's their, that's the second Subway here, Arby's, Papa Murphy's, see they got a lot of stuff, this would be awesome, this would be, this would probably be the number, they got Cadova here too, and they got Culver's, yeah this sort of plaza is almost like Chan, I'd say this is comparable to Chan with how many restaurants there are. That's a lot of DoorDash restaurants in one area. And they also got Target, too. I heard that Instacart's a big thing out here. And we are going to be taking this roundabout because once when we go south of here, it's mostly just a bunch of farm stuff, and this will take you back towards Brownton. And towards this roundabout is, well, is where we're going to take Highway 22, and we're going to go towards Biscay, which is a very, very small town. And it's, it, it's at the halfway point between uh, Glencoe and uh, Hutchinson. And they got Menards. And they also got apartments there. And it's just, yep, yep, this has got a lot of stuff. This is pretty much the cities without the hectic traffic and the hectic everything about the cities. It's got the same amount of stuff as the cities. Not quite as much, but it's a lot quieter and more peaceful. Less horrendous traffic. Highway 494 type traffic is the worst. 494 is trash. This guy's going extremely slow. This is a nice street right here. This is 
airport road. The Hutchinson airport was pretty close. That was kind of by where that roundabout was. Hutchinson, Peninsula Mall airport, however you pronounce it. And here's Highway 22 right here. Highway 22 goes more north towards 7, uh, east of the city. Um, and we'll be going on 7 after we get to Biscay. We were just on 7 a little bit ago. It kind of connects, it connects with uh, Highway 7. And then after Hutchinson, it goes more north, right at the county line of McLeod and Meeker. And that goes more north northwest towards uh, Litchfield. Highway 7 takes you towards Cosmos, and eventually, an hour later, it'll take you towards uh, Montevideo. Blue lights, is that an ambulance? That's a fire truck back there. This is an ambulance. Ambulance. pokes that we had to pass in this whole tour and there haven't been any extremely over aggressively drivers that have passed me that try to go 90 so that or that pat that were to pass me that were to go 90 so yes sometimes that happens too some Somebody wants to go 90 on these roads. <laughs> A lot of mixed speeds. I keep at a little bit of a moderate pace of 5 to 7 miles over the speed limit. That's what I usually cruise control at. Cruise control saves me from getting speeding tickets. And this Prius driver is a pokey guy, and uh, I see that Camry wants to pass him. He's eyeing on it, but uh, there's a decent amount of cars that are building up from another pokey guy behind me, so um, it's going to be a bit before that Camry's going to have to pass that pokey. Um, let's see. Yep, there it is. Yep, pokey drivers make the roads dangerous um, because obviously you don't want to be behind those people that hold you back. You don't want to be behind the people that hold you back from getting there at a decent time because if you're to be behind those pokey people for however many miles, 30 miles, that will you'll be 10 minutes later than what you'd normally be at. You don't want to be at, here's Biscay right here. Extremely, extremely tiny city. I think maybe the Hutchinson zone might have a bar from Biscay that might deliver. Maybe um, I would really, I would absolutely not consider this a hot spot with 113 total people living here. I think the zone passes through downtown Biscay. Is going to pass through Biscay with one bar maybe from there. Who knows? Possibly. Possibly. I don't think it goes through the town that much. Here's County Road 4. We are going to want to go north up here to get on the 7. So here's Biscay. Biscay Park. They got a bar right here. Some houses. I don't, th I don't think the zone passes through downtown Biscay at all. I think it goes 
I think that sort of line thing just is meant to sort of connect it. So, um, let's see, should we take a left here? Yes, we should, because after this road, it just becomes straight on road again. Dead end right here, so let's take a left. I don't even think this city has a post office. I think I think the zip code here just Glinko. Glinko zip code. And I yes, here it is. Ski. Very tiny, quiet town. Right here. Right here. Get back on to 22, and then we're gonna go right on the county road. Four. Now take us towards Seven Major Avenue. We're making pretty good time of this tour. Sun's still up and high, so I'm not going to have to worry ever about getting into dark time. Next city is Silver Lake. Silver Lake, and then we got Lester Prairie, and then we're ending in Winstead. I could go north to Winstead and end in Lester Prairie, but since Lester Prairie is only like a mile south of Highway 7, I'll start in Lester Prairie because you'll already be able to see it, and I'll go more north toward Winstead. I think we're approaching the Highway 7. So Highway 7 is a massive mess. Uh, there's a bunch of pokey drivers on 7, but 
thankfully they got passing because seven is a main road. They got passing lanes though, so they got different areas with passing zones where they have a passing lane every few miles or so, so you don't have to be stuck behind the pokey drivers at all. And since uh, oftentimes there's lots of traffic, passing them on the other side would be a bit dangerous. You always gotta be conscientious when you're driving because these two lane roads are dangerous. So this is Highway 7 right here. Along the roads. Hey, we're on a passing lane, so. Let's see. Them, but hopefully they aren't going too slow. Whatever, we're doing a county tour, so we're not too much of a time stamp. Oh, why are you riding him so close? Just pass him if you don't want to be behind him. If he's going too slow for you. Avenue. And a yes. Yes, we are in approaching Silver Lake. That's the next city that's in our tour is Silver Lake. We got a cemetery over here. And yeah, see this passing lane it goes for a solid like mile or something and it goes back to two lanes these passing lane deals are perfect and they're nice because it avoids commotion with with uh, constant passing on the other side which can make the road really dangerous which is a big which is a big problem on highway 7 and on highway 12 they're extremely busy but they're also two lane roads and uh, yeah, some people, and it's pretty fast on them too, so just a lot can go wrong in these two lane roads. Another cemetery to the left, and we're approaching Silver Lake. So, guess what lake this city is on? And it's in the name of the city, which is Silver Lake. So, Silver Lake is on Silver Lake. The extremely clever title, extremely uh, creative to call it Silver Lake. Um, yeah, I don't know why they called it Silver Lake. Uh, Lake doesn't look too silver to me. Um, and we're gonna be touring the city. So we got some mobile homes right here. Uh, these mobile homes are very run down, and we're gonna take it right here and kind of tour the city. We can see Dollar General, we can see a gas station. This is a pretty small city, it's in the hundreds, like 792 or something like that for the population. But you know, they got some modern new houses that are being built towards the eastern end of the city. They also got some land for sale. I was thinking about buying, but nah, I'm too young to buy stuff that big property or houses or apartments. Too young to do, too young to do that. Sand for sandboxes. Let's see. Yep. Uh, baseball field right here. I don't know if that's where they play town ball at. Looks like that is. 
pretty small stadium, but Lions Park in Victoria is a much bigger. That's an abandoned building right there that hasn't been utilized in ages. Church right here. And yes, this is Silver Lake. Holy Family Catholic Church. Got the water tower we are approaching. We got a park right there. To the left with the gazebo. And we got a alleyway towards that way. Got the bank right here. 742. Got liquor store, Silver Lake Liquors, post office for the city. North Lake Avenue. Let's go on Lake Avenue and we can see a nice view of the lake. So people that live in Silver Lake go to Glen Cove for high school. Um, been, I'm pretty sure they do all schools at Glen Cove. Maybe this is the elementary school, GSL Lakeside. So this is probably where they go to elementary and then they probably just... Uh, Go to high school in Glencoe. Middle school and high school in Glencoe. And this is the lake. This is Silver Lake right here. Um, see some people fishing, having a good time. And uh, yeah. If you turn left, this is McLeod County 2. And this is the base. This is uh, looks like a football field right here football and a baseball field Silver Lake used to play used to be their own high school and they won some championships in the 80s so it must have been a pretty solid team back then this is Main Street Glencoe Silver Lake plays against uh, they play against like Litchfield and they play against Holy Family which is right by where I live and they also play uh, even though I went to Chan Holy Family which is a private high school is right by my house like extremely close um, they also play like Annandale and Dassel Cocado Stuff like that. They play those type of teams. Um, but yes, this is Silver Lake right here. Um, Yes, these are some of the new houses that are being built right here. We got some newer houses. And this is County Road 2 going north. If you go north on County Road 2, that will take you towards Cocado, which is in Wright County. Wright County might be the next tour that I'll do in the next year or so. I think it'll be a while before I get motivation to do another county tour. Hopefully they got a passing lane soon. Actually, no, they're not going too slow. Yes. It takes a lot of motivation to do these county tours because, yeah, yeah, you're going to be driving around for a couple hours, for two hours, three hours. Hennepin County is going to probably take all day if I want to do that. Should I torture myself and do Hennepin County? <laughs>
Pippin County with Minneapolis and, and having, having to deal with the 494 traffic and 994 traffic and all of the traffic where I usually dash in. Bloomington traffic, Edina traffic, St. Louis Park traffic. It's just a bunch of traffic. <laughs> and going through the downtown Minneapolis streets and having to and having to tour all the all the tourist attractions in Minneapolis. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the Lake Minnetonka where the streets are so windy and then you also got to tour the western part of Hennepin County where it's mostly kind of it's sort of like this kind of like more open out there that's kind of what yeah Hennepin County is pretty unique it's got rural suburb and urban all in one because the urbans are like Minneapolis and Bloomington and Richfield and then the suburbans are like Eden Prairie and Plymouth and Maple Grove. Um, you got the slightly exurban, like like uh, Rogers and I'm gonna pass these folks. Um, anyways, and then they got yeah like Rogers and. I'd say more like, what else? St. Bonnie's sort of excerpt. I'd say it's more rural. I'd say St. Bonnie's more excerpt. And they also got upper, upper high level, which high income, like Excelsior and Shorewood, Lake Minnetonka sort of area. And they also got uh, rural, which is more like which is more like Greenfield and Rockford, which is part of their Hanover. I'd say it's more excerpt. So I would say I don't think it's like this. This is rural. This whole this whole county is rural, basically. So, uh, it's a boat shop there, boat dealership. I'd say this is Lester Prairie now that we're in. Is that a cat in the air? Big old cat. So, Got some ferns, ferns. This is like a neighborhood sort of deal right here, Castle Circle. Pretty unique neighborhood. Just randomly there between Silver Lake and Lester Prairie. Hairstyle trend, Tammy's hairstyle trends in a house. Get your hair cut at somebody's house. Table. Wow, oh, they got some race cars. Some nice, some race cars. Some race cars over there at that house. So there's a sign that says Winstead. Winstead is the next two lefts. Left goes towards Winstead, right goes towards Lester Prairie, and we're going to be taking a right towards Lester Prairie. So we're going to 
gonna take her right here. This is McLeod County One. I'll take you towards Arlington. We go more south towards here. This is Babcock Avenue right here. I wonder if the avenue uh, sort of deals are the same thing as, are labeled the same way as the cities, where it's like more so, like on 212, it's also Babcock Avenue, or more towards Highway 19 or whatever. But uh, yes, this is Lester Prairie right here. Can be turning left into downtown. Right here. Andy's lawn in snow. Lester Prairie. County Road ninety three. Woodland Bagels at a house. Got a bagel shop at a house. Eat some bagels at somebody's house. Or buy some bagels. 45, so we're getting more into downtown right here. And this is the actual city limits right here. And we're going to take a left onto Main Street. This is First Ave right there. Those are just some houses. Lincoln Ave, some more houses. And I'd say, I'd say it's Broadway Avenue that we take a left. Is it Broadway or Second Avenue? I think they call it Broadway or something. Broadway, there we go. Or, no, Kennedy. Jeez, I don't know this place too well. They got Liquor Depot, so they got um, liquor towards there. It's Church, St. Peter Lutheran. Street, I'm pretty sure that I'll get back towards downtown. Second Avenue. So I got the streets and avenues different than in most other cities. Most cities have streets east west and they have Avenues north south, but it's the exact opposite. The avenues are east west and the streets are north south. So there are just some houses right here, some newer houses. Some more houses. Fur Street, or Fur Street. With the ST, it looks like first, but it's fur. Truck route, so we're on the right page where if it says truck route. Oh, but it looks like the business stuff is towards that way where that stop sign is, so. Probably go towards the western end and then take a left on that sort of main part of the city. This is where there's a pool sort of deal and they got a football stadium and a baseball stadium towards there. There's a dead end right here so right here so I'll take a left here. Lester Prairie is where a friend of mine's team football school ended their season against. It's where Mayor Lutheran ended their season when I was a senior. And he was somebody who played for mayor. Let's 
Central Avenue is probably where we want to be. And if you take a right, that'll take you towards New Germany. But New Germany's in Carver County, and we already did that. Gas is 279 here, so it's at the normal price that it is everywhere else. I don't think there'd be any get upside at this place, though. Is that the only gas station in town? There's a park right here to the left. Central Cafe. Um, looks like a prairie market. They got prairie market. Longhorn Burger House. And then, yes. I should probably take a right here. First Street, and then go probably take another right because I think let's see, go on to First Avenue. They got a police department here. There's a police car for this small city. It's crazy. So, Brownton, or no, yeah, Brownton. So, Glencoe, Brownton, Hutchinson, and Lester Prairie all have their own police departments. It's pretty crazy. Um, it's Hickory Street where we want to, there's, so there's a city hall over there, I'd say probably going to Hickory, that's probably where, uh, no, let's see, correct, we get back on the 7, well it looks like this right here is the, uh, high school, I know that they got a high school here, is this their high school, I think it is. Let's see, Lester Prairie School. So I think it might all just be high school, elementary, and middle school. And home of the Bulldogs. Yes. I think it's only for the city that they get a high school for. So, school zone, speed limit. I don't know if I want to. I'm just going to not exceed it just for the sake of cop being there. Apartments, so they got apartments here. Uh, Maple Street, does that go on to seven? I'm so lost here. I can get around this place. Oak Street, I don't think that gets you on to seven. Or I want to, I want to go towards the street that takes you to Winstead. Pine Street, does this take you towards Winstead? No, it looks like a bunch of house neighborhood type stuff there. So we got to get back on to Central. This place is confusing. Let's see the pool park again. Right here. Take a left on the First Avenue. That's probably where it's going to connect with the western end of the highway. And then once we see County Road something, it's a dead end here, so let's see. Redwood Street North, is that going to take take me towards a... Oh, maybe this dead end... Uh, let's see, come on. I'm, I'm not going to do this with a GPS. I'm not going to use GPS at all, so... Ah, shoot. This place ain't taking me there, but here's a nice view of the water tower. Jeez, there's a, so there's a dead end here. Um, that's a four-way stop sign, so it might be that road? No, I don't think it's Pine Street, because it doesn't look like Pine Street's going to take... I think I'm probably going to have to go back down to Central Avenue, and then Central Avenue is going to connect me towards the street that I need to go towards. Um, yeah, yeah, this is taking me towards the right way, so we're just taking a massive loop around the whole city. And then this will take me towards Winstead, which is where I want to be. Yep, there we go. So I got a Casey's right here. There's a Casey's right here. There's another gas station. It's 279. There we go. We got ourselves out of here. So McLeod County 9. And if you keep going towards McLeod County 23, that will connect with County Road 30, which is where you take to New Germany. 
or Carver County 30, and I'll take you to New Germany, Mayor, and then down towards Waconia. So now we're on the right track. So that was Lester Prairie right there. That was a very confusing street setup. Most cities, all of the streets kind of connect towards the main highway or main county road. At this one, there's only a few, there's only a couple, there's only one street that connects with this road. So it's confusing. I should have probably just guessed that it was going to be the main Central Avenue sort of deal. The streets were mixed up, or the streets and avenues were different. That was, that was not my favorite street setup right there. And we got an extreme pokey right here. Extreme pokey that he's getting his butt ridden by... Is that a cop car? No, that's not a cop car. That's not a cop car. It's not even close to sunset yet, and we're going to get this tour done. Amazing. That was probably the first non-smooth city tour that I did. And here's Highway 7 right here. What is going on here? Why are you driving on the other side of the road? Idiot. Oh my goodness. Why doesn't he close the tailgate? I, you can just put those those sort of deals whatever you got in those uh, baskets you can just put them in the truck and close the tailgate therefore you don't have to be driving 20 miles an hour anyways crossing this road is gonna suck but we got ourselves there so this is gonna take you towards Winstead, which is we're going to be ending the tour on. This is the last that we'll be touring because we've toured all the other cities. Winstead's got a lake, Lake Winstead. Oh yeah, also Lester Prairie is where the Dakota Rail Trail ends at, so you can actually bike on that trail all the way to Wyzetta, and then you can bike to Minneapolis from Wyzetta too, so you can go on a smooth sailing bike ride on all trails from Lester Prairie all the way to downtown Minneapolis, which uh, is great but it ends in Leicester Prairie. Um, it used to go all the way to Hutchinson, but it doesn't anymore. It goes by Lake Waconia. It goes through downtown St. Bonnie. It goes through all those places. It goes through New Germany. It goes through Mayer. And it goes through the north shore of Lake Waconia. take a leak at a gas station when I'm done. So there's Winstead. You can see the water tower from a distance. I don't think the camera's uh, picking that up. I'm gonna go right by the lake of Lake Winstead. Lake Winstead, right here! Lake Winstead. Winstead. Winstead, if you, the, the high school that they go to is Howard Lake Waverly Winstead, which is more north. That's where the high school's at. It's between Howard Lake and Winstead. I think it's actually in Winstead. It might be in McLeod County, but I don't feel like going there. I just don't. 
So that's where they play football too, is right here. Holy Trinity Trojans, but got there. they got a police department in Winstead. So that's another place where they got cops. They got cops in all these small cities of police departments. So they're all copped up. They got Subway and liquor. Subway and a liquor store in the same plaza in the same sort of deal. That place is all run down. They got Dollar General and they got some houses over here. Apartments. They got a park over here. They got the water tower park. Uh, Veterans Memorial. Right there. They got platform fabrication. And then they also got the Miller Bend plant. And they got a fire department. They also got another cop right there. So they got two cop cars. And Winstead, he's checking the speed to make sure. Setting up a speed trap. And then, uh, yes. I'd say we have covered Winstead. And uh, now, this is a weird gas station. And I think we are going to conclude this tour right here. So now, I think we're out of Winstead. We might see a few more things in Winstead. Um, I think that might do our Winstead tour. Waste management plant. That's where garbage trucks come from. At least in this area. I'm pretty, I think Demcon might be where garbage trucks go for our place. I'm not sure. There's waste management. They got Avenue Tile, Miller Brand. So they got some nice uh, factories around here. Decent amount of factories in Winstead. And then they got a few houses right here. I think those might be. Oh, those aren't modular homes. Those are just houses that people live in. And then they got a storage unit right there. Um, and then, uh, yes! I think that concludes it. Um, I'm going to go and uh, take a leak probably at that Hollywood gas station in Hollywood. Which is just the city east right when we cross uh, Carver County. But uh, yeah, this is the McLeod County Tour. I am extremely happy that we got it done right at sunset. Got a nice sunset over towards that way, um, but I'm not gonna be distracted by that. I'm not gonna distract myself by pinning the camera towards that way. So um, yeah, that's it for this video. So um, yes, bye.